Thank right. you. Positive thinking, positive thinking, positive thinking as we send it over to Jason with yeah. our weather forecast. <laughs> I want it to be 80. Positive thinking. Oh. I want it to be 80. <laughs> That might be a heavy lift, Mr. Crawford. <laughs> yeah, I know. That might be a heavy lift, but you know what? We'll work back in an eight. How about that? Okay. There they are. That's fair. <laughs> we'll work in an eight. There, there'll be an eight. <laughs> All right, folks. Hey, here's something for the kiddos I think is pretty interesting for you tonight. Disney on Ice is returning to Cleveland. It's going to be at the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. They're featuring Frozen and Encanto. So if those are two of your favorites, I think you have a really awesome time. Temperature is going to be in the 30s for the rest of the evening into the overnight hours. When you look at our region here, there's not a whole lot happening, which is great news for us. That aerial low is still pulling in some of these winds out of the west. So that's reinforcing a wee bit of cold out there across the area. So we still got our temperatures into the 30s. And with that west wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour, we're going to stay locked in here. Feels like temperatures in the upper 20s for some areas near freezing. It feels like there for Akron Canton, 27 for Mansfield and also down into Holmes County. Nationally also looking pretty good here, but of course all eyes are still focused on what's happening over towards the West Coast with sort of that atmospheric moisture we've been talking about pulling in a lot of uh, rain showers over into this region leading towards some pretty devastating mudslides and flooding in this area. Why is this important? That is important because it's keeping all that really tight Arctic air out of the lower 48 and certainly out of the Midwest, which is great news for us. All, although we do have to deal with a little bit of scattered flurries overnight tonight because of the aerial low. We're on the back side of that, so we'll continue with that thread through Saturday into the afternoon before we start to erode away the cloud cover. And you know what that means? We're bringing in more sunshine. That begins to happen after 2 p.m. for you tomorrow. And I think we stand a good chance for a sunset as well. You know, homework at 7 a outlook, not too terrible. Back into the 40s that we go. No Arctic air, but also no 8 for Jay. We'll work on that too. We got more coming up after this.